Hey guys, Norm with Bearable Traders. It's Monday, April 22nd, 2019. I want to hope, want to say I hope everybody had a great three-day weekend. Um, came back into the markets this morning, looked a little slow, and they actually traded a lot better than I thought they would. Some people are still on spring break up in the Northeast or on spring break this, this week. Uh, day after Easter, it's Passover, all kinds of things with a little bit lighter volume. Gapper's list was weak, but uh, overall traded traded pretty well. Before I hop into my actual review, I uh, just wanted to remind everybody tomorrow night, Brian and myself from Bearable Traders will be doing a YouTube Live Ask Me Anything. So you can look at the Bearable Traders cha uh, channel and find the link on there to set up a reminder for 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, April 23rd. So I hope you can join us. It should be fun. Um, it'll be kind of a similar format to what we do with the lifetime webinars that are on uh, the, the actual for Bearable Traders members. It'll be similar to that, except it'll be live questions instead of taking it in advance. So um, anyway, on to my recap, we had a few stocks on watch today. Um, the oil, I don't usually trade ETFs, but because the list was weak, I had some of these oil, petroleum, ETFs, UGAS, UWT and such in here just in case. I ended up not, not trading them, but they actually had pretty nice patterns. One that I did have on my list I was watching uh, was MDSO. It was gapping up strong this morning, had pretty decent volume. It actually off the gappers list was my favorite looking stock. Um, it came up, sold off a little bit in the pre-market, and then it looked really strong to me holding VWAP here. And I had my finger on the trigger around 88. Um, I looked over, it was a 45 cent spread, 50 cent spread. Brian, at the same time I was typing, uh, said something about MDSO. I said, watch the spread. I was, a, I almost hit the trigger. I never, I didn't get into the trade. Uh, and it popped up just like seconds later, massively up here to, you know, 91, uh, what was the high here? 9170. So, I mean, that would have been a, a, a great trade, but spread scared me out of it. So I, I, I don't regret not taking it. But that would have been a really nice trade. I know some traders in the room took that. Uh, I looked at one of my normal stocks that I watch on a daily basis, Apple. On the daily chart, it broke out last week from this uh, consolidation period, or, uh, consolidation area right around and under 200. Broke through this, and then you can see it kind of hesitated on Friday, on Thursday, excuse me. And to me, this looked like it was potential for a breakout continuation on the daily. So I had an eye on it. It was selling off pre-market. You can see the 15 minute chart down here. It wasn't off huge, but you know, it was off uh, about a buck 50, buck 40, something like that. So anyway, I had my eye on it and at the open, it looked really strong. It sold off a little bit and then just started coming back up. And as it got toward these moving averages, I went ahead and went long at, this was, uh, just under 203. I think it was 202.95 is where I ended up getting into this. So I didn't take a massive size. I knew volume was light today. It could be a little bit sporadic. Um, and then, so I was able to, I partialed out a couple of times here over 203.50 pop and then over 204 pop. Then it started to sell off and come back down, but every one of these dips was getting bought up. So I was out about half my shares at this point. And I decided I was going to load back up and take a bigger size like I the, the size I would fully. So I went ahead and I got back in a little bit on this dip, 203.50s. And then down here, 20, right at 203.50, I got more of it. Um, stop would have moved to break even, which I believe at that point was around 203.26 or so on this first buy. Then it edged up into the 40s. Um, Actually, stop. I was break even, or not break even, but VWAP, which was just a hair below what my break even would have been. You can see it came down here and got close to VWAP and then just shot up. And this move here, and, and what I was sensing, I could see the level two, it started, to, it started to come back down and then it would just pop. And the order flow would get real heavy, real fast, and just shoot back up. So it was telling me, you know, there was a lot of buying interest in this on every little sell off. So this was actually one trade. Um, this was one trade right here. So I first entry, a couple of partials, re-upped, increased my position here, and then scaled out of it pretty quickly. I was scaling out a lot faster than I usually do on this B 
because of the type of day I, I anticipated it being. It was more of a, a scalp than letting it run a little bit longer because of that. And then, so this here was a second trade. I saw it, it sold off. It couldn't make any new lows. It held this moving average. It was like, okay, I'll give it one more shot. Quick trade, we'll see if it can get back to previous day close, which eventually it did here. But, you know, I, I would have stopped out likely in this area. Um, I was able, I went ahead and, and partialed out pretty quickly just for a quick scalp on it there. So anyway, that's my day for the day. Recap's done. I'm done trading. I'll be in the room later. But don't forget, tomorrow night, Ask Me Anything, YouTube Live, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern on the 23rd of March. All right, and uh, guys, thanks for watching. Trade safe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I try to answer all the questions in there on a timely manner. And uh, take care. Thanks for watching.